thingiverse.com, an online community with a wide variety of free 3D objects that you can download and print. This video will show you how to get a file to download and print on our 3D printer. On the home page of the site, you'll see that Thingiverse has featured items of many of its makers. Down below that, there are feature collections that you can go in and take a look at, and then you can look at items that have recently been made. We're going to search for a specific item, a little elephant. So we're going to go up to the search box at the top and just type in elephant. And a list will populate of items that it thinks we'd like to print. If I scroll down, I can look and see all the different elephants that it's picked up. I actually want to click on this first elephant. It's the elephant by LaFab Shop. And so I'll click on the picture. And it takes me to another web page that gives me more information about the elephant. It gives me a summary of the file. It gives me instructions. It tells me I can download the file in a large or a small. And over here on the right side, it tells me how many likes it's gotten, how many people have collected it, how many comments, and then that 861 people have made this file. And that's a good indication that it is a successful print and we'll be able to easily print it on our 3D printer. The next step is to download all the files. So I'll click on the download all files button. And when I do that, this pop-up shows up and it tells me that it's under a Creative Commons license. And this is specifically under a Creative Commons Attributional Non-Commercial and No Derivatives license. And that basically means that you need to attribute um, to the creator of the thing. You cannot change it or remix it and you can't sell it. So I'll X out of here. And we now see our STL files, the stereolithography files. I'm going to click on the bottom one because it's a small elephant that I'd like to print. And when I do that, the file starts to download. Once it's downloaded, I can open it up in my slicing software and we can begin to set up the print job.